How did you came to know that your friend is trying to sleep with your partner slash wife? This was years ago, but one day she told me that she didn't like a friend of mine because he was always flirting with her and making her feel uncomfortable. That's a good partner you have. I broke up with her a few years ago, but it wasn't because of cheating or anything like that. It was because of her meth use. But she came back into my life unexpectedly and now we are just taking it slow. But yes she is, and thank you for that. Apparently he started sending her messages at night on a camping trip we all took together. Said he wanted to rap for her too. It was weird. You misunderstood my intentions. We couldn't get a fire going, so I thought my raps would be enough flames to keep us warm. This guy spits hot fire. Woke up after a night of partying and she was in his bed. Then he told me he was in love with her. Then he shot himself. That escalated quickly. Long story short lol. I put two and two together when I found them naked in bed together. Catches them in the act scratches head something doesn't seem right here. Apostrophe. Wait a minute. You're both entirely out of clothes at the same time. First time was more than trying. I caught a funny look between the two at a party. Week later she disappears for a night. I knew where she was. And she was. Last one was decent enough to show me when my friends were in her DMs and had enough morals to just F people I didn't know. Damn man. Sorry you had such a shitty friend and partners. That stuff hurts. Thanks it's definitely been an unpleasant go of things. I'm a devout monogamist and I'm 343 on the long terms now in my early 30s. Definitely calling it quits. Took me a solid year and changed to get over the last one enough to feel halfway sane again. I was going to bed literally praying I'd get a terminal illness, so I didn't have to do it anymore for a long time and I've never been religious. Now I've got one friend and business partner. My only goal is to make enough money I can retire to the villages in Florida and golf my heart out till I die. When I opened a Snapchat story of them together that was definitely not intended to be posted to their story. And then it was gone an instant later, meaning I saw it moments before they realized and deleted it. That was God saving you. If that's how God works, then remember that it was also God that put his wife and his best friend together. Found out that my best friend was trying to steal my brother's GF away from him, now ex-best friend. My bro is now married with the same woman. 17 years later. GJ homie you made the correct choice. When I came home early from work and his car was parked outside my house. A tale as old as time. True as it can be. One of my long term best friends hit me up one night to ask if it'd be okay if he asked my long term girlfriend of 7 years if he could see her boobs. We had all lived together at one point. They knew each other through our entire relationship and we were all super close. I responded ha 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 ha. No. And I hope you're joking. He told me he wasn't, but he was too drunk to be using a phone and apologized. They would text each other pictures alert. And I knew they talked. But after that I got suspicious. One day my girlfriend started a fight over something small and escalated really fast which wasn't normal for her. She said she was going to stay at her parents for the night. I begged her to stay and talk it out. But she wasn't having it and said she needed space for the night. I got off work late that night and went to her parents to try to talk to her. Only her car wasn't there. I called a couple times but she didn't answer. I called another one of her friends to see if she'd heard from her, but said she hadn't. Home, her parents, or her friend's house were the only places she'd be at that point of the night, so I had a feeling I knew what was up. I called again after driving around, and she finally answered. The conversation went like this, hey, hey, where are you right now? I'm at my parents. Okay, why are you a liar? I'm at Andy's. And that was the day I lost my best friend and the girl I wanted to marry. They are married to this day. And I'm happily engaged with a few children. So I'm not bitter about it. I feel like it was all meant to be. But god am that hurt. I went home. Drank a 30 pack. Punched a wall. And threw her ass into the yard in a drunken rage. The night one suggested we swap wives lol. Ain't gonna let that happen to me though. I thankfully have avoided making such friends so far, 
Never mind friends. They are all solid. I can't even trust my own brother. What is it with brothers? I don't have one. But seems like damn near every set of brothers I know. One fucked the other one's gf or wife once. I told my boyfriend myself that one of his oldest, closest friends was in my DMs trying to hook up. We were together 8 years at the time. Cause there are women, like you is, why I didn't give up hope on dating. That's the bare minimum though. Anyone in a healthy relationship would tell their partner if his friend made a move. I certainly would. I tell my boyfriend if it's hey stranger season or if someone is trying to slide into my DMs. He doesn't have to do anything as I always shut it down. But if someone is being particularly bothersome, I block them. I have zero interest in stepping out. So it's more of an inconvenience than anything else. You should be teaching a class on how to do this properly. Honestly. Finding someone you really connect with and that shares your sense of humor etc is pretty rare. It's really a no-brainer. Honestly. You just kinda know. Guys act differently around women they are into. You pick it up. Because you also act differently around women you're into. If it's consistent when she's there but other people aren't always there, you'll work it out pretty quick. What are the major signs would you say? Trying to impress them. If they're in a group they'll have their body actually facing who they're interested in. They'll invite them to every event. Try extra hard to make them laugh. It's actually super obvious once you know the signs. Just boggles my brain on how one can throw years of trust and comradery away for just a single night with his friend's gf slash wife. I never understood how that trade off was worth it. Mr. Williams said it best. God gave us a brain and a penis. But only enough blood to run one at a time. You slowly get phased out by the friend. The friend stops turning up to things where you'll be with your partner but is magically available for every event your partner is at that you won't be at. When you and your partner eventually break up, they won't pick sides. But you'll probably never see them again, because they'll always be hanging with your ex and mysteriously never available for you. This is just from my own situation. There was always a guy that I heavily suspected of her cheating with, but she swore it never happened. It was a guy I'd known for a long time. But I did find out she cheated on her next BF with him so there we go lol. I see him in town sometimes, and he still can't even look me in the eye. It's been like 10 years lol. He definitely banged her while you were together. Oh yeah for sure. I found out they backquote slept in the same bed at least once lol. There was also another guy in the group who she got with too. But he was a satellite person who we knew but didn't hang around with usually. It was a case of me being gaslit into trying to back quote work on myself by being more trusting. While I was with a walking red flag lol. Came in from the field. Heard the fireworks from the front door when I came in. Recognized the voice. Called his wife. Pre FaceTime days. And put her on speaker. Walked in on M. They panicked. He swung on me. I kicked his ass. He ran home. And then his wife kicked his ass. She cried in the living room the whole time I packed her stuff and put it in her truck. Complete with the mattress they were on. Sheets. Bedding. All of it. You handled that situation gracefully. Thanks. I'll admit to being lucky in that one. I was a little hot headed back then. Not too bad. But if I got super stressed. I'd have to get away from people for a little bit. This time. I just felt numb. Emotion just shut off until after it was all over couldn't have cared less about anything. Moral of the story, flirt with your home is not their girls. Nice balls bro. I love the way you like that weight bro no h though. He promised to give me many goats if he can spend one night with her. How many? Asking for a friend. If your friend is even remotely flirting with your partner, he's not your friend. He's a snake. If she's responding to it favorably, you dodged another bullet and saved yourself a lot of headache down the road. As a lady who has dated men who had friends who had crushes. Some are snakes. Some just have lull crushes that they will get over. The latter generally are embarrassed and self-police. I don't mind them so much. The worst part is when you're not participating in anything. Yet your partner seems to be very angry at you for being the subject of another man's crush. Like it's your friend. I'm only ever in contact with him. Because you bring me to the event. 
I'm literally just existing in space. My husband, Imo, has better values than past boyfriends, and that has resulted in a different sort of man that he hangs around. A couple of his friends have had little crushes, but there's not a one who didn't shut it down internally. He's never been confronted with a friend being too weird around me, and I appreciate that. Agreed. True friends can be attracted to a friend's partner for decades and never let it be a problem. Adults don't need to act on every base urge they have. When I saw them in bed together. I went through my wife's phone. Boobs are great is normally a dead giveaway. I'm the wife. Trust me. As in your boobs were said to be great. Or boobs in general are great. As in my boobs were great. So like. If you two split up, would you be mad if I f her? When on two separate occasions he said I don't care if a girl is with someone, I'm a man and I can take her, and he's a B if he can't keep her, and um, your girl has really nice tits, a def her up dude, we ain't friends anymore, did he succeed in getting your girl, lol no, we broke up after about a month, turns out she was bipolar and stopped taking her meds. Had a feeling she was going around but never had anything other than a hunch. Then she broke up with me the day after Christmas and I saw them posting going on a date the day after. Confirmed my thoughts. Fuck. She saved the AOL instant messenger logs and showed them to me. This was in the 90s. She was the second woman I was dating that he went after. The first woman was not blameless. So that time the friend and I worked it out for the good of the larger friend group. This time. There was a very loud face to face confrontation that was extremely close to becoming a fist fight, which ended with me telling him, you're dead to me. I never spoke to him or anyone else in that friend group again after that night. Five years later, he had the chutzpah to send me an invitation to his wedding. I briefly toyed with going and causing a scene, but ultimately tore it up and threw it away. I never spoke to him or anyone else in that friend group again after that night. Why the friend group? Were they on his side? Are you still with the second girl? She told me he had a reputation as kind of an asshole to women and had done similar things to other friends. So it was the third strike I needed to stop hanging out with him. I took pictures of them dancing at an event. When I was going through the picture something about their expressions was off. There was a look of intimate understanding and shared excitement that was not as apparent when I saw them live. They were getting off on their inside joke. 